The Tavistock Canal in Devon began construction in 1803 and was designed to connect Tavistock to Morwellum Quay at a distance of just under five miles. The canal sources its water from the River Tavy. The whole of the canal has a gentle slope of about one foot every mile. It was supposed to aid boats on their journey along the water towards the quay. It also helped power several water wheels built into the canal. When travelling with the current, towards Morwellum Quay, only one horse was needed to help pull the barges along. However, the return journey to Tavistock, against the current, required two horses. Local mining engineer John Taylor was 24 years old when he started working on the canal, and 38 by the time it was complete. Built entirely upon land owned by the Duke of Bedford, who both approved and partly funded the whole venture, the Tavistock Canal was officially opened on the 24th of June, 1817, to the sound of a 21-gun salute by ships on the nearby River Tamar. In its day, the Tavistock Canal was considered a great feat of engineering. With John Taylor overcoming many unique challenges, such as carving tunnels through incredibly hard rock, which was likely granite, creating an aqueduct over the Lumburn Valley, and designing a 227-foot inclined plane railway that carried boats from the canal down into the water at Morwellum Quay. The canal winds its way through the pleasant shade of Crandale Wood, which is controlled and managed by the Woodland Trust, who make it their mission to protect native woodlands and encourage biodiversity wherever possible. This is the Schiller Mill Viaduct. It's 210 metres long and has 12 arches stretching high over the River Lumburn. It was part of the line from Lidford to Devonport and opened in 1890. It was in use for almost 80 years before sadly closing in 1968. As with so many canals, when the railway line eventually found its way to Tavistock, the canal became less and less profitable. It was only in operation for about 60 years, and before the end of the 19th century, it was closed for commercial use.
However, over 200 years since it was first used, the Tavistock Canal still contributes to the local community today, as the flowing water helps to power the Morwellum Hydroelectric Power Station. like to see more, please do hit the subscribe button and why not tap on the bell to receive notifications for when the next video is uploaded. It really means a lot to us.